guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today is the mystery box challenge. So if you guys don't know what the mystery box challenge is, a bunch of us YouTubers send each other boxes full of mystery items and there is two challenge items inside the box that we do have to create uh, DIYs with. So I sent my box to Whitney from Whiskey and Wit so I will link her video along with a playlist in the description box below and Justin Ray sent me my box and I am super excited to open this and see what is inside. So we have quite a decent sized box. Everything is wrapped super nice. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. Okay so the top two things are challenge items and should we leave these for first? Last? You know what? Let's just do challenge items first. Okay so the first challenge item is it's a fishing net <laughs> it's a fishing net challenge item number one so I have to use this item you know what I think we'll be able to come up with something there okay so that will be okay and then the next challenge item is a brain teaser toy real wood puzzle those are my two challenge items that's not as bad as I kind of thought these aren't too bad I will take these for sure all right, so the first thing is these wood craft cubes. I love using these. This is always really exciting to use, so super excited for that. This wall vase, I actually think people pick this up at the Dollar Tree, and mine has never had this, um, and I've never come across one. So I'm also really excited about this. Like we have yarn. Okay, yarn is really intimidating. I buy yarn, and I never use yarn because I honestly don't know what to do with it. So I'm really going to have to think this one over all right so we have nautical rope i love this white nautical rope and also some of this decorative nautical rope as well so just like the brown nautical rope also he sent me over some faux leather ribbon i love their faux leather ribbon i know this is super hard to find but i actually really really like it so there's the black and like the camel color uh that's really exciting also this sign right here be grateful always and I actually I've never seen this frame at um, Dollar Tree but this is actually really pretty I love the background so this is definitely gonna be something really simple to use all right so I have a few items left in here so looks like we have a bunch of stickers I actually have grabbed some of these stickers and use them and I really like these I've never seen some of these other ones though these ones are like galaxy type style and actually I know my daughter Scarlett would absolutely love these. I might use some of them and then let her um, have a creative mind with those as well. And then these ones are super cool too. I love the stickers that the Dollar Tree has lately. Like there's just so many, so many fun ones. So that's really cool. And then what is this? A messenger bag. It's like a burlap messenger bag. Okay, I've never seen these either. These are really cool as well. And some of these little laser cut wood pieces. I think these are super cute as well. And a couple of bamboo cutting boards. I love all this wood stuff. I love all this. This is definitely, I feel like this is definitely like a Justin Ray box for sure. So if you guys don't watch Justin Ray, like his style is like phenomenal. And he always comes up with like some amazing, amazing DIYs. So yeah, this just reminds me of a total Justin Ray box. So um, I'm glad it's a little bit easier than I anticipated. Um, I'm super excited to get started. So yeah, um, make sure you check out everybody's um, videos. There will be a playlist, like I said, in the description a box below. And I will send you guys over to Whitney so you guys can check out what I sent her. So anyways, let's get on with the video. First DIY, I'll be using one of the challenge items. I decided to start with this fishing net decor. So I started tearing it apart and I realized what I wanted to do with it. I thought I could turn this into faux chicken wire for the backside of a sign. So I'm just using a sign I already had. This was from Dollar General. And I just kind of laid it on top of the fishing net to see if it could actually look like chicken wire. So I did kind of double layer it and figured out how I was actually gonna use this. I ended up spray painting it with a black spray paint and it kind of turned out pretty well. It kind of turned out gray at the same time, which was definitely kind of what I was going for because chicken wire is not perfect by all means. And then I just took some hot glue and laid it on top of the fishing net and I was just kind of moving everything around to make it uh, more secure and look like chicken wire. 
For the middle part of this sign, I did tear everything apart and I was gonna paint it and then I decided to just add some scrapbook paper. I thought this just looked a little bit nicer and then I just used my Cricut to cut out this farmhouse uh, decal and then I just put it right on the center of the sign, put it all back together with some twine and that is it for this one. DIY is something that I probably would have never made if I didn't do this mystery box challenge. So I'm using one of these wooden dowels from Walmart. You can pick these up between I think 98 cents and like $1.25. I just had this one. I was going to actually, I don't remember what I was going to do with it. I picked it up because it was cheap and then I just decided to stain it with the espresso brown Arteza paint and a little bit of water. I just like doing this for stain instead of actual stain because one, I like to do this inside my craft room and two, this just makes everything a little bit easier. So I used the yarn that was in the box. I also used the yarn that I had um, laying around and this was also from Dollar Tree. So everything was from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just measuring it out with a measuring tape. I decided to do 32 inch long strands of yarn and then I end up cutting them and then I'm just gonna be looping them on to my wooden dowel. This was so time consuming, this took forever, but I love the way it looks and it was a really inexpensive piece if you want a large wall decor piece. This ended up being only five bucks to make. So I'm just kind of looping the bot. I can't really explain this. I want to say this is like a Lark's knot. I could be totally wrong. Don't even, don't even go there with me um, because I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm just kind of taking it, looping it around to make it secure on the dowel and just moving it around. You are going to see that the yarn is not perfect. Um, I kind of actually liked it that way. I ended up giving it a little haircut in the end, but I liked the way that the yarn was not the same sizes. I think it looked pretty neat like that. So this is all I did for a ton of yarn. I didn't count how many I used. I just kind of kept adding as I went. And if I liked it, I liked it. Um, <laughs> this, uh, like I said, this was like my first time using yarn for a whole lot of anything, but wrapping it around a vase. So yeah, like I said, this is a really relaxing thing. So if you have hours on end, um, this is a fun craft for you. Or actually, this would be super fun if you're just watching a movie and you want to do a craft. And I just um, laid this dowel across two chairs to hold it up. This was way easier to do. Turned out really cute. two DIYs kind of go hand in hand. I thought they looked really cute together. So I'm going to be using the second challenge item, which is this brain teaser puzzle. It is really neat because once you tear it apart, it kind of looks like beads, although the holes are not directly from top to bottom for the beads. They are in like different positions. They are like on the sides and on the top. Um, so they're definitely not like normal beads, but they would work for beads since they are wooden. So I just took my sign, ripped it apart, and then I just had some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to be tracing it to use it as a background. This is the same scrapbook paper I used for the first DIY in this video, and I just use some 
or a sum. I use a glue stick for the scrap of paper. It always works. I never have an issue with it. I think it works way better than Mod Podge because I don't have to worry about bumps or bubbles or anything like that. And then I'm just using the Waverly Chalk Paint and Ink to paint the middle part of the sign. And I just hot glued the middle part of the sign back together and I decided to add those little wooden cutouts. I think these are so cute and I have seen these at my Dollar Tree. I actually think I've picked some up but I've just never used them. So this really put my brain to work to figure out how I was going to use these and I think this was just a really cute, easy DIY piece. It's a cute little sign. You can definitely stick this in a three-tier tray. I'm always about finding different decor for three-tier trays since they are my favorite to decorate. And then for this one, I'm just going to be using one of these tags. I picked this up at Dollar General during Christmas time, as you can see. And I'm just going to be painting the back with a Waverly chalk paint in white. And then I'm just kind of going to be distressing it a little bit with the Espresso Brown by Arteza paint. I use this a lot and I just kind of had it laying around from the stain on the wooden dowel. I always try to paint everything in one day just because it makes my life so much easier. And then I'm just going to be gluing another one of these little wood cutout pieces right to the center because I thought this would look really cute and match the other the little picture frame or the little decor piece that I made previously and then these stickers are from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna be adding them to the top and the bottom of this tag and then I'm just gonna be making a quick little tassel I did not go into details with the tassel because I am NOT a very good tassel maker so I am NOT gonna show you how to make one I'm not gonna show you how I made it because it is a little embarrassing And then this is where the brain teaser puzzle comes into place. You can kind of see that the holes are not directly from top to bottom, but like I said, it kind of makes it look kind of neat and they're still technically wood beads. So that is definitely what I use them for to make a cute little garland type tassel decor piece. For this DIY, I'm going to be using two of these wooden crates, and this is the Espresso Brown by Arteza that I've been using constantly, and then I am just going to be making a stain. This is how I do it. I just use a little coffee cup. This is like my stain slash paint coffee mug, and I just mix the paint together, and you can use as little paint as you want. You can use as little as water as you want, so less water, darker stain you're going to get, more water, lighter stain you're going to get. And I'm just going to be painting both of the crates this color. I decided to add one of these stickers right to the center of the crate. I thought this was a really pretty color. It's like a amber gold brown slash color. I just love it. I think it's really pretty and I love the design in it. And then I decided to go back in with those wooden cutouts or the laser cut, laser wood cutouts. And I'm just going to be using one of those to stick right in the center of the sticker. I'm just adding these stickers. These are also from Dollar Tree and I have used these in so many DIYs, but I absolutely love them. I love using them with the crates. I think it just gives it like a nice little antique look and I just think these are so pretty and they all go together so well. I'm also going to be using these stickers. I decided to go with these little, these kind of look like metal to me, like little metal gold pieces. So I decided to stick them on all four corners.
Then I went back in with one more laser cut, laser wood cutout. I don't know why I keep saying these wrong. Um, from Dollar Tree and I'm just sticking it right to the center and then just to give it a little bit more height I decided to go back in with these little brain teaser puzzles and add four of them to each corner to make them stand up just a little bit higher and that is it for this DIY For this one, I'm just using this basket. I've had this forever and I decided to go use this rope. I love this like cotton rope from Dollar Tree. I think it's super pretty. I love the white color. So I decided to go all the way pretty much to the top with this white color. And then I decided to go in with the nautical rope, uh, the brown nautical rope and add like a couple of rows to the top because I ran out of the cotton nautical rope, which is no big deal. I wanted to use both of them anyways. I just didn't know when to stop and quit using it. So, uh, this definitely gave me a limit to what I could and what I couldn't use. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty basic. I'm sure this has been done a million times. I'm sure I have done this a few times on my channel, but you can never have enough super cute baskets. This DIY, I'll be using this bamboo cutting board. Also, I forgot to mention that in this mystery box challenge, Courtney said that we had to do another mystery item that she chose, which was craft sticks. Uh, so I decided just to lay all the craft sticks out on this cutting board uh, just to kind of give it like a little bit of texture on the back side. That, uh, that craft stick was not going to work out. Some of these are not the best and they are not like a a good size. Some of them are like are cut up. I'm sure you all have dealt with craft sticks and you know that they're not all the same size. I'm just going to be putting them all along the top of the cutting board. And I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint and ink and I'm going to be painting the craft sticks. Now I'm just going to be going in with these small little wooden cubes and I'm going to be making a nice little frame for this picture or this little piece that I'm making. Okay, 
then I'm be using these stickers once again. I loved these black and silver and gold ones and I'm just sticking them on all four corners. I just used my Cricut to cut out this bowl. I thought this was really cool. I love the design of it. It kind of gives like a modern farmhouse boho feel. I absolutely love the way this looks. I love how everything looks together. And I used the cutting board as a nice base for this picture. The last DIY I'll be using these wooden cubes and I'm just gonna be painting them the Waverly chalk paint in white and then I am gonna give them a little distressed look in a little bit so you're gonna see that as well and I'm just using the same stain espresso brown like I said it was all kind of sitting there the paintbrush was already dirty so you might as well just get your painting done while you can because I always have such like a I'm very impatient when it comes to waiting for paint to dry. I even decided to get a blow dryer out uh, in my craft room recently because I cannot wait for stuff to dry. And I decided to use these wood cutouts once again. These are so cute. And then like I said, here is the espresso brown. And I am just going around the edges to distress just a little bit. And it matches so much of the decor I made in this video, which I absolutely love. But you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you check out what I sent to Whitney. Her video will be on the playlist as well and in the description box below. But that is it, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.